Hi all, I'm Trisha Peach, host of the Peach Buzz, a channel all about ministry, all different kinds of ministry, leadership. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please like and subscribe. We talk a lot about children's ministry and student ministries, but it's all different things having to do with ministry. And today on Thanksgiving Eve, I just want to say some of the things I am most thankful for right now now. Um, I'm, I love Thanksgiving. It gets missed a lot of times. It gets passed over in the rush to get to uh, Christmas. I love Christmas too, but we kind of skip Thanksgiving. And the Bible has so many different verses on being thankful and being grateful. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to talk about um, what I am most thankful for right now. And number one, of course, I have to be thankful uh, for what God has done in my life, for the hope of salvation. God did some miracles for our family this year, just amazing things, times where you thought you couldn't pay a bill and God provided. Uh, sometimes when we didn't know how we were going to make it through and God made a way. So I'm really grateful for all that God has done, the many miracles he did, uh, times of encouragement. There were specific times I can think of where I said, God, I just need a word of encouragement right now. And a pastor or a guest to our church would walk up with that word that I needed. And I just knew that that was God. So I'm really grateful for that. Secondly, I am so thankful for God's gift of family. My family, uh, my husband of 20 years now, oh, going to be 21 years next May. So I love you, Scott. Hi, how are you? <laughs> He's been supportive of everything, of all the traveling and the ministry that we've done. Scott, you're amazing and I love you and I'm very thankful for you. I'm thankful for our children, Logan and Eliana. They got to travel with us this year doing ministry doing camps and VBSs and Kids Crusades and all that kind of great stuff. They went with me this year to Adams Assembly of God in Wisconsin, to Greenville Outreach Bible Church in Mississippi. They did a lot of uh, kids' church stuff with me. Logan started choreographing some of the puppet numbers. Eliana's been doing a lot more of the artwork. So I'm impressed and I'm proud of my kids. I'm thankful that they're funny that they love Jesus. Both of them finished reading their entire Bible through this year. I think every parent out there is like, yeah, yeah, that's what I love that. I wanted them to read the Bible for themselves. And I, I love that they read their Bible uh, every night. I'm grateful that we live close enough to family. Tomorrow we'll be going down to visit Scott's side for Thanksgiving. And then Saturday we'll have Thanksgiving with my side. Both sides are precious. Uh, I'm excited that we will be able, that we live close enough now that we can go have Thanksgiving with them. I'm thankful, um, here you can see my dog, see if this works for you. There's our Sonny. Can you say hi, Sonny girl? Sonny's a plot hound. Hi, sweet girl. Yeah, she's just thankful she got into the trash today and ate lots of wrappers. I'm thankful that um, my cat Danny came home okay. He was missing, and those of you that follow me, you knew how upset I was about that. But Danny was found, and he's okay. Um, Danny is back. Quite happy about that. <laughs> I'm happy for our pets, our family, our friends. I'm happy for moments. Let me explain that. I'm happy for moments to make memories. Life is about making those memories, making those moments happen. I think when we think back on holidays in the past, our memory might wipe over the bad stuff and we idealize it, that it was perfect. And in most cases, no holiday is perfect because families aren't perfect. And we need to make some beautiful moments this Thanksgiving and this Christmas. And that means including our families together. We do talk about what we're thankful for. We need to make sure that we make those moments. Everybody told me before I had kids, oh, the time flies so fast. Oh, the time flies so fast. I blinked twice and I had little infants who are now 16 and 14. Now I understand how important it is to make those moments and make them last. I'm so thankful for that opportunity. Thankful for health. 
I think we take that for granted when we're younger and I'm about to turn 42, you get older and you realize, my goodness, if you don't have your health, it, you don't have hardly anything. You know, you have Jesus, but when your health goes, it is miserable. So I, I'm grateful that my family's healthy. I'm happy for our warm home. The board games we play a lot at night and the <laughs> we're, we're a family of geeks watching anime and I'm happy for food, delicious food. I love great food. I'm happy for that. I'm thankful for all the travel that got to happen this year. Uh, this is the first time I've ever been in the Bahamas. Hello to all my new friends in the Bahamas. This was the first time that I have been to a few places. We went to a lot of states this year. I was in many, many states, and I'm grateful to God for every speaking opportunity that happened. I'm grateful the book finally came out, the third book, um, Why We Quit. I was, I was, ooh, I get on edge during the editing process, but it's finally out. Thank you, Jesus. That's a, I'm, I'm happy for that. I'm thankful for another year of school down, working on my doctorate. Went well, another year of school down. Thankful that my kids are loving school. They're really doing well in school. I'm thankful, I want to put this the right way. I'm, I'm thankful for all the freedoms that we have. Uh, I realize being born in the United States, I, I'm thankful for an opportunity to even have an education for an opportunity, I'm thankful for f food, for freedom of religion. I, I'm going to be going to church tonight with my family for the Thanksgiving Eve service. I can do that without fear of government reprisal. I can do that without the government then, you know, arresting us or executing us or whatever. And there are a lot of people all over this world that can't say that. There are a lot of people all around this world who do not have that freedom. And I'm grateful that... For now, we still have that freedom here in the United States to worship God in one's own way. Uh, freedom of speech, we still have that, and I'm so, so grateful. I'm grateful for the sun coming up in the morning. I live in Wisconsin, so I'm grateful whenever we see the sun. I love the sun. <laughs> Hello, Bahamas, I miss you. No, I love living in Wisconsin. It just gets cold. I'm thankful for each one of you that watch this show, that subscribe, that share this. I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for all the ministry that you do in your church. You may have eight kids in your Sunday school class and think no one sees, God sees. And thank you for serving Jesus and his kids. For the pastor of that small church and you're plugging away and it can get discouraging. Hey, Jesus sees. I'm thankful for you. Thank you for what you do for Jesus and his kids. And I would say... Let's count our blessings this Thanksgiving. Let's see what we can do to brighten someone else's holiday in some way. And I'm thankful for another day, breath of life, that we'll get another chance, God willing, next year, another chance to do even more. So I love you all. Happy Thanksgiving. Please comment below and tell me what you're thankful for this Thanksgiving. What are you most thankful for this Thanksgiving? And maybe your favorite Thanksgiving food. My favorite Thanksgiving foods, it, it's a toss up between the stuffing and the homemade bread rolls with butter. Those are both, you know, carb loaded, but I love them. That's, they're my Achilles heel. All right. Um, we love you all. God bless. Happy Thanksgiving. And thank you again for all you do for Jesus and his kids. See you next week.